Good morning, traders. Welcome to this live webinar with Elite Currency. My name is Chris Swarsik, co-founder of this website, Elite Currency, uh, almost 10 years ago. In fact, uh, around March 2014. Uh, so that would be next month, a, a big number uh, anniversary of 10 years. So that's exciting and hope that uh, you'll join us in a live webinar. And perhaps, of course, we have these live events again since September 2023. We had a one and a half year break or so uh, before that, uh, but we're back with these live events. And I think that they're good to connect uh, to you. They're more fun. And I think they're also more uh, engaging and, learn and, and useful, I think, for, for you and for us. So if you were to join these live events, if you're watching the recording, uh, feel free to watch, uh, join the live events and live webinars every Thursday, every two weeks uh, on a Thursday at 1 p.m. GMT. All right, so we got a lot to discuss today. It's the 1st of February. So let's take a look. Of course, the January results, 2024. How did the last month end up? What were the figures, the results? We got an update from the currency about two new EAs and one extra option for the flagship uh, account. <clears throat> we're going to do technical analysis on the euro dollar and Bitcoin. We're going to share some experiences we had with brokers, why they are so important uh, to work with brokers that, uh, that you have good experiences with, and how to join flagship and um, other EAs. Okay, so let's get right to it. Uh, January 2024, overall, quite good performance. Uh, my flagship <clears throat> was plus 3%. Uh, I will check the... Uh, the PAMs, once we have the PAMs running for a little bit longer, I would add those results too. Maybe next month we'll start reporting those because we just started the PAMs and MAMs accounts for flagship in January. So, you know, reporting one month of history uh, doesn't make much sense. But I think uh, two, three months and we will start adding the flagship uh, PAMs. This is my personal flagship result. It is the average a result over, uh, you know, one and a half dozen, uh, maybe 20 accounts. Uh, and uh, so it's it's an average. Some will be more. Some results will be better. Some results will be worse. If you look at it per broker, per individual broker, but this is my uh, net gain uh, or, or average gain, I should say. So uh, we will add also in the near future to flagship PAMs. Uh, so we see what those results were. My total result so far since tracking here was plus 113%. I think it's been tracking for one year and three months or so. And, but I've been trading, of course, flagship for four years in total. I have a live track record for four years. So it's very lengthy, more than four years now. Uh, which uh, is one of the reasons why I like flagship so much. Okay, so... A uh, very sturdy result. Number two on the list, Athena EA, plus almost plus 95%, almost plus 100%. The track record has been uh, longer, so the average monthly result is higher for flagship than with Athena EA, but plus 100% is still a great result. Uh, even over two years, even over three years, really, you know, I mean, of course, uh, an E plus result is, is, is in a way good. But uh, so, yeah, de definitely a good result with the TNEA so far in total. Uh, last month specifically was almost plus 2%. Cronus EA, we've been following for a few months now. It had a great January, the best result in January, actually with almost plus 7%, and the total uh, hitting almost plus 40 with 38.1% there. So, Cronus EA doesn't have the same length of track record as flagship with the EA. Uh, but it's, uh, it's, you know, it's increasing, it's going up the ranks. Let me say it this way. It's past ECA signals, it's past ECA. So, uh, it's, uh, it's up and coming, uh, EA that's doing very well and had a great January in fact. ECS signals and ZUCA weaker. Uh, ECS signals did have some recovery in January after a weak December with the almost plus 3% performance there, plus 2.71. And overall, though, only plus 12. Zeus only plus 6.4 and actually had a negative, the only negative month of any EA 
uh, that we are of these seven, in fact, with almost five uh, percent minus minus four point seven two. So six systems plus one minus. Zucia was the minus one. It is also the lowest uh, profitability in total of all the EAs. So uh, seems to be the less interesting option at the moment. But we're going to keep trading that uh, because performances can vary from period to period. And you know, one EA might start to perform a little bit less and, and ZUCA might start to perform a little bit better. So it's still good to, uh, to keep it on board as long as, of course, the losses are not uh, within a moderate level, an acceptable level. Um, and that, of course, depends per trader. Everyone has their own risk tolerance. Everyone has their own risk aversion, what they feel comfortable with losing and risking. Two new EAs, as I promised at the very beginning. Those are Hermes EA and Hades EA. We've been trading them for a while, but we didn't add it in the overview or summary as yet because they're new. So we were testing that. But um, we've had good results. So we're going to add them. Uh, and they're available with Elite Currency now. Of course, the longer the track record becomes, in general, the sturdier um, background it has. Of course, that doesn't guarantee that the future results will be the same it never does uh and that's something always to be to be careful of and that's why risking capital that you can afford to lose is always step number one and very important uh but we decided to add these uh, new eas two new ones uh, hermes plus 3.69 percent hadas plus 1.78 percent the total plus 12 for hermes plus 36 for hadas so Hades taking in a fourth spot quite off the bat, in fact, and Hermes taking the fifth spot out of all, this, all of these EAs. Now, as you can see, of course, flagship, number one, obviously, above the 100%, number two, Athene EA. And it's going to be interesting to uh, monitor Cronus, <clears throat> Hades, <clears throat> excuse me, and Hermes uh, to see how, how fast they're going to grow. And uh, we'll keep monitoring the others as well, of course. So first of all, portfolio performance. Uh, with this particular broker, I actually had a negative January, but it was compensated. Um, my account, my performance was compensated by the other accounts that were um, pulling this one up. So this one didn't make any profit, had a small loss, but the, small, the loss was, I think, about minus 4%. So nothing too uh, tragic there, uh, certainly within my acceptable parameters of losing uh, in a month. Uh, and otherwise, great performance from one and a half years ago almost and up almost 230%. So that can happen with one particular account that it's slightly minus. Uh, but overall, once again, the performance for my account was plus 3%. You can see that here this year, plus 3.05% all time. Uh, plus uh, 113 and you can see that's a result that i have gained not with a small amount of capital not only with just like a thousand euros no that has been gained with the, the balance here which is almost half a million dollars as you can see or euros in fact uh, in my case mostly euro accounts but uh, on the elite currency website we use the dollar sign so uh, that is a, a big amount um but I feel comfortable with trading this amount, despite its size, for me at least. I mean, maybe for some um, who are trading with uh, seven or eight figures, this is still small. But I think for a lot of retail traders who are trading with thousands or tens of thousands, this is quite a big sum. I feel comfortable with trading this sum on flagship. And of course, I trade other EAs too, but I trade with lower sums because that's how my own comfort zone of, and risk tolerance for drawdowns that's how i feel comfortable with so uh, i allocate more to flagship and i allocate a little bit to all the other eas i just mentioned all right uh otherwise yeah that's about it let's go to athena ea steady as it goes of course that's why it's always um, Good to keep in mind that uh, a grid system like that can run into struggles in and in a deep drawdown or uh, a bigger loss. So 
it is a wise idea in my idea in my mind at least to withdraw uh profits uh occasionally or regularly i should say uh because a smooth equity curve like that always has a risk of hitting a snatch and the grids you know the grid system basically get getting into some kind of issues and and a bigger loss could occur so uh but otherwise it's it's steady as it goes and um I like the the performance, of course, with a reasonable drawdown. So about three percent. We started here almost two years ago, in fact, or or yeah, just a, a week shy, maybe of two weeks. So let's say two years, uh, two years, excuse me. So let's say it's about two years. So almost one hundred percent in two years. That's that's good, good performance there with Athena EA. Cronus EA has been trading now for about eight months, <clears throat> and. Uh, has made a good 38%, which means that the average monthly result is 4.1%. Whereas if you compare it to Athenia, it's 2.82%. So it's uh, almost 1.3% uh, more. Yeah, it is 1.3% more. Whereas with portfolio, we have an average of 7.25% for this specific particular broker that that, that, that is at least. Uh, but for 0.1% very sturdy. Drawdown is lower. You see drawdown for Athenia is almost 29%. Drawdown for Cronus is just 12.6. So pretty good combination here. You get, you know, we got more performance for less drawdown. So Cronus EA for the moment, um, from that point of view, from a risk reward perspective, reward risk perspective, beating Athenia EA. Okay. But the track record is smaller. It's only eight months, whereas Athenia EA is two years. All right, ECS Live uh, has not been doing that great. It had a nice recovery, but then boom, went back straight down here. Still in plus territory, but obviously the average per month is less than a percent, and that is not interesting for me at least. So, uh, but let's see, we continue trading it um, and keep uh, trying this uh, system as well. And then ZUCA also around 1% per month, so that's not interesting at this moment. We keep trying and trading that. Hermes EA started mid-October, so monthly average has been 3.25%, but of course, the track record is short. So I want to certainly um, make that very clear, of course. But we decided to add it because it has uh, more than three months of track record now, plus 12% for the moment. And Hades, plus 36%. It has a longer track record of a year um and had a slow start but has been making a nice uh performance recovery here since about may was the, the low point here at about maybe minus eight percent it looks like and now up to 36 percent and the average more than two and a half percent per month <clears throat> all right sorry for that let's take a look at the euro dollar now Two weeks ago, this is what you saw on my chart. Okay, so we're gonna uh, take a look what I think now. Um, basically, two weeks ago, we expected price to move up a little bit, get rejected by the head and shoulders, uh, head, yeah, head and shoulders resistance levels, trend line. Uh, there was a slower move up than the than wave B was slower, more corrective than the impulsive fall and uh, bearish move and swing of pink a so we expect the price to break through the green trend line hit resistance here move downwards so let's see did that happen yes as you can see uh we had here a doji uh, a couple of weeks ago followed by bearish bearish candle and so for another bearish candle of course this week is not finished yet so we have to see but yes we did have the break that that is established that has happened you know that is something that is clear and uh, now it's challenging the bottom of the 21 EMA low and i think it should be able to move lower uh hit this kind of support zone from the past and make some type of corrective correction maybe a stronger one medium one i should say or a, a weak one if it's a weak one it could be a pattern like uh, a bear flag for instance and i would expect to follow through uh towards the previous bottom if it will break that previous bottom, that remains to be seen. But if it does, there's space 
down to the minus 272 target. And if it breaks that, down to the minus 61.8 target. And I would expect a stronger bullish bounce at one of these targets. Uh, and a rally back up again. Uh, of course, no price swing moves in one one shot, one straight arrow. So if there's a stronger reaction, usually there's a correction and then followed by a move up, a one, two, three, if you like. So that would be typical. But that's something for the future. It's not that relevant right now. For the moment, I think the price will probably break below the 21 EMA low. Uh, but then find support and make some correction uh, is my estimate at this moment for your dollar followed by a follow through. That seems to be the key kind of pattern that I'm looking for at this moment. All right, Bitcoin. Bitcoin BTC versus the US dollar. Two weeks ago, we expected basically price to reject. Strong rejection we were expecting at the 61.8 Fib. It seemed very unlikely that price would break above that. Golden ratio, Fibonacci retracement level, plus the 50,000 psychological round level as well. And we expected a strong move down, back to the 21 May zone. And uh, let's see if that did happen. Yes, we did. We had a uh, very big wick here. You see what kind of selling pressure and exhaustion happened at the 61.8 Fib. A lot of sellers stepping in, a lot of profit taking, I assume, too. And we had a very big wick followed by a bearish candle, followed by another drop. And buyers stepping in only $10,000 lower, around $39,000. So that was a pretty big fall from forty nine to thirty nine. That's a big discount. Um, and finally, buyers stepping in at that $39,000 level at the 21 EMA high. And we see a wick at the bottom and we see price moving up and we see some, some resistance in this week's weekly candle as uh, we see currently a, a wick. Now, of course, this week is not closed yet. Uh, I personally do expect some resistance at the head and shoulders level in this red box, left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So maybe some upside could happen next week uh, in February, but I would expect re re resistance and rejection and a move down to test the 20 when you made a low and probably drop just below it. And go maybe down to uh, to these fib levels here, maybe as low as uh, as these tops, either immediately or th after a bear flag, and get back to these tops, which could be a strong support zone, and there a an upside could could appear. Okay, so we'll update that again uh, two weeks from now in the webinar of fifteenth of February. All right, so that's uh, we've discussed now uh, the performance in January 2024. We explained uh, the year dollar and Bitcoin dollar uh, chart. I wanted to just for a moment share a personal story about you know brokering experiences and how important they are because I've been trading for almost 15 years now, and fortunately this has not happened to me before, and this is the first time. Uh, but my capital was stolen by a broker. Uh, they claimed all kinds of reasons uh, that I, uh, how did they say it, that I uh, broke there or, or didn't commit. Uh, basically, the terms and conditions, I didn't uh, live up to their terms, basically, with my trading. Uh, in my view, nonsense. I made a complaint, waited a couple of months. They rejected it. So that's their final answer. I will need to go to the financial authorities, uh, which I would do. Um, I just learned out, you know, I just found out two days ago, which I would do. I have 16 weeks to do that. So I'll do that within the next week or two, as soon as I have time. Um, I'm going to make that complaint. And I have to hope that, you know, the financial authorities will agree with me. It's, uh, I lost... 30,000, 25 to 30,000 uh, euro. So, yeah, it's a big amount. <clears throat> and, um, yeah, I'm, of course, it, it's, it's frustrating. Um, you work hard as a trader to make that those gains. And just to see a broker just take it away is painful. So, uh, 
Yeah, I, I, I don't want to talk too much about these negative things, but I did want to share the story because it just is a reminder how important it is um, to trade uh, with with brokers that you can trust. Now, you never know. It's never a guarantee. Even, even brokers you can trust, it can always, you never know, of course, 100%. But um, yeah, I, I, I can see that, uh, yeah, I can't blame myself for, for trying with them. I, I try uh, multiple brokers uh, on purpose. So I have a feel for what the performance is with these brokers. And I try to, of course, do my due diligence beforehand um, before choosing those brokers. What I do blame myself maybe is that I should take those profits sooner. Uh, maybe should have done that. So that is a learning lesson for myself too. For you, the learning lesson would be uh, indeed to start maybe small with brokers, get a track record with them first, a little bit longer before adding capital, try the withdrawals, you know, test them a little bit more maybe than I did. Uh, so yeah. Also another learning lesson is that, you know, the, the brokers we work with for flagship uh, for EAs are ones that we trust. Now that's not a guarantee. Of course, I, I not part of those companies. You never know for sure. Uh, and what happened to me is quite rare. Once again, I've been trading 15 years and it's, uh, luckily only happened this once. Um, but um, at least we've tested these brokers for a long time. We've had good experiences with these brokers. So that's another, I guess, learning lesson is, uh, is you know, we test, try many brokers. So we have a good feel for, for which ones are good. And the ones we offer are, are we have a good experience. Okay. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. Let's see how the appeal goes with the financial authorities. Maybe I'll still update you and um in in the future if you're interested how that case went and i'm going to make my case i guess they're going to make doors i don't know exactly how this process works because i've never experienced it so i thought it would be interesting to share with you um uh, you know we can, can do an update again a few months ago um it's sad uh, that they see it this way uh that i broke their terms and conditions i didn't i i yeah, I mean, I, I trade how I trade, uh, and I guess that the, the profits were too high. I I, I don't know if, what their I don't know what their uh, their thinking is. Somehow they see in my trading that I broke their terms and conditions. I disagree. So, but I think it's a sad development. I, if they would just say, okay, close your account and go to a new broker. We don't want you as a trader. Okay. I can understand that, you know, um, it is what it is. It's a sad thing, though, that uh, for me, at least. All right. Anyhow, uh, other updates. Um, yeah, we had, besides the two new EAs, Haddis and Hammers, we have one new broker option for flagship, PAM. Okay, so flagship has now three brokers. So that's quite interesting. And flagship in a nutshell, well, once again, four years of live trading. Uh, we had had only one month, losing month per year. And it was less than 5% loss. And um, yeah, I, we had, of course, fantastic results uh, in over those years with uh, anywhere between uh, plus 70 and, and plus 100% per year. So we have a new members area. And once you join Elite Currency, with a lot of gadgets, a lot of data, and a lot of ways of uh, signing up and joining those EAs quicker and more smoothly and tracking as well. But if you want to join Flagship specifically, it's better to write us an email at info at EliteCurrency.com. If you're interested in EAs, feel free to join through the website, of course. We have full transparency on my fix book also accounts that didn't work well we do not delete them they're there to see for everyone and we don't hide our track record we don't hide our history and uh you can go through all these systems and accounts we've had or many uh, and, the, and the good ones and bad ones okay all right that's it for for now thank you for joining this webinar hope to see you again in two weeks from now Wish everyone a great February with trading. Um, 
and uh, we'll see you soon. Okay. Cheers. Bye-bye. <clears throat>